Superior Restoration Products would like to introduce you to an amazing product that quickly and permanently repairs faded and peeling buttons. Our product can make your old damaged stereo or climate control buttons look like new. We also provide custom laminates for buttons on steering wheels and window controls. If you would like to order, you can call the number on your screen or order online at superiorrestoration.com. The following video is a simple tutorial on how to install the custom graphics. So the sanding usually isn't too hard because the button that you have the issue with is already peeling and so it usually comes off quite easy. If it does require a little effort then uh, just be careful that you don't sand the buttons next to it or somewhere around it to scratch it. The sandpaper we use is 150 grit. As you can see it's pretty rough. You have to be careful to not hit the adjacent buttons. After you sand it then uh, you just have to clean it off with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, something like that, household uh, cleaner like that, it's a solvent. Nothing that's liquid though, you don't want to use uh, any kind of other household cleaners. Another thing we uh, provide with the kit when you buy it is um, a micro brush. This is uh, a micro brush kind of like they use at dentist offices. And what we do with this uh, is actually two different things. Uh, the first thing when, in, in regards to cleaning you can put a little bit of uh, alcohol on here and you want to clean around the button itself, around the edge of that button and maybe in between areas where you wouldn't be able to clean well with a rag. Okay, so that's what we want. With the graphics replacement kit we ship you two different color semi-transparent backgrounds. These are going to be used for the background of the button. You're going to have a foreground, which is the color of the stereo. And of course, uh, as you see in these letters, it's, it looks like it's white. And especially in this video, you're not going to be able to see the difference. But actually, they're versions of gray. And with your kit, you will get um, a very light gray background and you'll get a little darker uh, gray background. Take the material before you pull it off to do any kind of repair and put it next to the background uh, color. Like if I look at this seek type button here, I can look and see if this is going to work or if this one's going to work. In this case you have a uh, backing paper on here and you have the vinyl and so you don't cut all the way through you just make a an incision there like that just through the uh, actual vinyl itself and you pull back so you can expose the graphic now you take a piece of your transfer tape you set it on there like that <clears throat> And you pull your graphic off the background there and now you flip it upside down like this in this case we're just going to show you how to grab these little guys out of here you probably can't see this in the video too well but I'm gonna show you how to take this out I use this um, hobby knife here pull it off of the uh, background like this <clears throat> it's stuck to my knife and I pull it to the edge of something, a table. If I'm, in, if I'm in the car doing this job, I have a small table that we, we use in my text use for this. You see I'm centering this uh, onto the background. Once I'm happy with the spot that I found, I put it on like that. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Uh, as long as you're basically close, you, you'll do okay. You set it down like this. You stick it back onto the, this is wax paper. You 
pull off your transfer tape. I recommend getting a new piece of transfer tape each time because you're actually going to use transfer tape again once you've weeded the letters out of this. You probably can't see them in this video, but in the next uh, little section you're going to be able to see how we weed those letters out with this knife and a pair of tweezers. But you are going to use a piece of transfer tape again to pull this back up and place it on the stereo face. So this little process, uh, we just use really two tools, just a uh, hobby knife, you can probably in this section only see the tip of my knife here, and also a uh, regular pair of tweezers. So it's pretty simple, uh, you do want to do this uh, in a cool area, uh, less than 80, 80 degrees when you do this weeding process. Uh, when you first stick these two pieces of vinyl together, they do have a tendency to come apart easier than they will later on. Uh, after 24 hours you get a permanent bond. So you can see it's just a matter of um, grabbing the, the, the letter up, wh whichever part of the letter you can get with your knife and then grabbing it with the tweezers and pulling. And once you've uh, done a couple of these it's pretty easy to do. See how it's uh, coming out. This is the info button. There at the corner there with my knife. Turn the tweezers around here. There we go. Pull that off like that. And the O. Okay, so there we have. Uh, completed button and again we will end up picking up this completed graphic now with transfer tape just like you saw us do in the beginning when we pulled the uh, original black part off the backing so to put the graphic on the button that we've sanded uh, you have this uh, clear transfer tape and you have your graphic on the transfer tape here as you can see and really what I do with this to uh, to make it simple is I set it as close as I can to the surface you can actually get it stuck a little bit as long as you don't put pressure on it at first it's not going to, to permanently adhere on there and you can just uh, move it side to side look where you are on the button up and down and then do your best to center it. You do have a little bit of room for error there. And once you have it positioned correctly, you uh, press it down firmly, and you can pull your transfer tape off of there. Now if you're using a hair dryer on this, you can go ahead and get real close to the surface of the radio. You just have to make sure if you're using a heat gun not to turn it on high. By any means, you could actually literally melt the uh, plastic on the front of the radio. So let's uh, do this little process here. You'll even see uh, as I heat it that uh, the vinyl will start to soften up and just sag just a slight bit. And I have my my hobby brush I'm using here. <clears throat> you can use a toothbrush, you can use anything with bristles to kind of flex it around, make it conform to the button there. Okay. And that's it.